Good Wednesday morning. Nine o'clock. Nine o one. I don't know when this will upload because our internet is down here. I got a little mess to clean up today, but this video ain't about this stuff. So this video is a video to Chris at Board Sort. Uh, me and Chris got into a little tiff uh, last week when I was there. Um, I complained on a video uh, about how long it took when I was down there and I talked to Chris on the phone and expressed my view about it. Um, I didn't know that there was you know, labor issues at both of his facilities. Well, the one I did. Um, so I know Chris is under a lot of stress. He's got a lot going on. And I... I have, uh... In the last few videos when I've gone down there, I've, you know, mentioned that it's slow and takes forever. <coughs> uh, whoa. That cobweb? But, um... You know, maybe I went about it the wrong way by ranting on YouTube about it. So, uh, Chris basically said that he didn't want my business anymore. Not exactly in those words, but... Uh, so, it kind of hurt, you know, but I understand where he's coming from. Um, I don't want to lose a friendship over something petty, and I don't want to lose a business relationship over something petty. So, you know, I've thought about it. Um, I've had a few people weigh in on it um, and give me their opinions, which, you know, I respect. So, <clears throat> uh... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to learn to keep my mouth shut. Um, I don't really mean anything by, you know, complaining about it, but it's just... And maybe I'm viewing it wrong, but, you know, I have to pay to go down there. And when I went there last week, I had to pay extra because I returned the vehicle late. So... It don't matter if it's twenty dollars extra, five dollars extra. I do this to make money, and um, you know, I mean, I pretty much count my pennies. So I understand Chris's frustration um, with the way I dealt with it. So I have nothing but respect for Chris, Melissa, Bruce, and you know the whole company. Um, those guys have always treated me right. They've always. <clears throat> you know, answered my questions, dealt with me, fixed mistakes if there were some, and I mean, like, instantly fixed them. It wasn't like, well, yeah, when I get a, a minute, I'll look at it. So, you know, like I said, I don't want to lose uh, a friendship and a business relationship. So, I do truly apologize to Chris for the way I acted. You know, I guess I could have did it a little better. But, um, if we can get this resolved, I will just go there, unload the van, and let those guys do their thing. And if I have to sit there for four hours, then I'll sit there for four hours. So, I have, I'm not bitter towards anybody there. It was just, you know, one of those things. And, you know, <clears throat> when you drive six hours uh, going there, we were dead stopped for like almost 45 minutes. So... You know, you get frustrated just sitting in traffic. And then when you get there, and I understand that, you know, I always get there around lunchtime. But I try to leave here when the rush hour here is over because I have to go through downtown Detroit. And, you know, all the freeway systems all connect down there. But, you know, coming back, I still, I still, uh, I get the rush hour for everybody going home. So, you know, a little frustrated. And like I said, I know Chris has a lot on his plate. So I'm sure he's, you know stressed out with whatever he's dealing with down there um so it was just you know 
two worlds collided. So if we can resolve this, it would be awesome. Um, like I said, it's just um, just one of those things. You know, we all have our we all have our moments. So like I said once again, I apologize <coughs> to Chris for my stupidity, and uh, hope we can get this resolved. <coughs> Because Chris is a, you know, he's a good friend. He's not just, like I said, he's not just a, a business person. Um, I do uh, appreciate everything that he does for me. I always have, even though I harass him. So, which is another thing. You know, you guys hear me rag on boards for all the time. It's all in fun. But, you know, most of you guys know that. You know how me, you know, it's like me, Chris, and uh, Shark Scrapper. You know, we just like to banter each other. So, with that being said, um, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. It's done. It's over with. <clears throat> and we'll go from there. So, I am going to send Chris a message to watch this video because I'm sure he don't watch him. Um, and, like I said, we'll just go from there. So, with that being said... I am going to eat my breakfast. Banana, banana nut muffin, orange juice. Can't get any more healthier than that. Um, so I showed you guys a video of the bust of the wire. So maybe I can get a hold of a area. <clears throat> Yard manager will get a hold of me with that today. Um, my poor girl, just go Bobby later. <clears throat> so I weighed up my bright wire, that bright wire, number two, ugh, number one, um, and that number two, which has to, well, I'll just leave it in there because I don't know where to put it. So that all came up to $1,770. I have uh, 261 pounds of bright wire, 72 pounds of number one, 204 pounds of number two. So, 345, 330, and 310 is the prices. So, I'm going to uh, um, run this stuff here through the stripper today and uh, get this stripped out. Oh, yeah, I got the stripper turned around. <coughs> Damn, I'm already tripping in here. And I got to put this back in that hole where it belongs. My neighbor borrowed that yesterday. Uh, clean up in here. <coughs> but if you take this, I don't know if you go to see this or not. So this will actually get it started. You can kind of see it there. But then if I put it through the, the roller, the roller opens it right up. And then you just peel it. So you basically have to run it through twice, once on the blade and then once on the roller, and then it just it just peels right off. So but I gotta switch that around. Um, so I want to get those two totes done, and then I can add that to my bright wire, and then I have whatever's left out here to do. Uh, in here, this here is already stripped in ran through the uh through the roller so just peel that off big red is missing <clears throat> i was gonna load all this stuff up last night i'm glad i didn't because my neighbor needed the van uh one of his vans at work uh transmission or something messed up on it so they had to use that today so i'm glad i didn't throw nothing in it um and then i was going to uh do those two air units there and that one out there that I got yesterday that one's aluminum these two are uh, you know the regular copper aluminum and then I have an a coil there copper aluminum one that one there is aluminum and there's another a coil out there that's copper aluminum so I want to get the wire done first because I don't know I may take it I may not we'll see we'll see but I want to get all the the wire done. It's kind of my priority right now. And we will see. And get this out of my barrel. Killing my barrel. 
So, with that, I'm going to get to work. Um, if I get an update or anything on wire, I'll let you know. So, with that, appreciate y'all. Stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate all you guys, except for, that's right, recycling. Because he's an idiot. No, he's alright. When he ain't bothering me. <laughs> Take care, guys.